Hey everyone, it's me again, Leo. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Um, you know, I get a lot, of, a lot of comments and questions on my YouTube channel, and uh, I try to get back to y'all as soon as I can. But I figured, you know, posting a video, answering your questions on the video, it's probably best that way, better for me that way. Um, I can answer, explain myself a lot better this way. Uh, this, this video is for Marilyn Gums. Uh, you asked me if I still had um, symptoms after my treatment. You know, and yes, I did. It's very common to have still have symptoms after treatment uh, because your stomach went through a lot of trauma, especially after taking antibiotics because it's hard in your stomach. Uh, well, some cases, you know, H. pylori can leave you with uh, gastritis or ulcers. And that's why I tell people, you know, to schedule, if you haven't had one, uh, to schedule like, you know, a CT or uh, like a CT HIDA scan and also, uh, uh, endoscopy, you know, to check to see if you have like gastritis or, or also, you know, um, but after treatment, it's very important to stick with, uh, the bland diet. Um, you know, you want to eat, consume foods that coat your stomach, you know, don't go long periods of time without eating because when you go on an empty stomach and remind you this to remind you that you, your stomach's inflamed still. And so, when you go long periods of time without eating, those acids are going to irritate your stomach even more. So it's going to prolong prolong the healing process. And so it's going to take time, uh, lots of time. You know, some people, it might take three months to feel 100% after treatment. Um, it may take six months, nine months. You know, I'm not trying to discourage you. Uh, but the thing is, you know, you got to live that lifestyle. Uh, like I said, you know, continue, like continue staying away from spicy foods, fried foods. Uh, fatty foods, you know, acidic fruits, uh, eat small portions, uh, continue eating small portions, uh, snack throughout the day, um, you know, don't eat big meals, you know, because the bigger, you know, the big meals you eat, the more acid it's going to take to break down the food, you know, and like I said, that acid, you know, it's going to irritate your, your stomach even more, so that's why it's important to eat small meals throughout the day, you know, to snack and eat, um, Consume foods that coat your stomach, such as yogurts, um, avocados, um, honey, you know, um, and some uh, some smoothies, you know. Um, but the reason and the reason why the doctor prescribed me um, Carefate was was because she thought I had you know an ulcer somewhere in my intestine or my colon. And, uh, you know, I explained that in one of my videos, you know, I took it, I didn't take it right away after, uh, after my antibiotics, you know, cause I didn't want to take any more pills. Um, so, you know, I waited about a month to take it and, um, but yeah, like I said, but like I said, it's going to take time. Be sure, you know, this takes a lot of patience, you know, and like I said, just continue with that bland diet. You know, uh, continue staying away with spicy foods, you know. And um, if you haven't had an endoscopy, you know, try to schedule one and try to retest uh, the, for H. pylori. You know, I hope this answers your questions, your question, you know. And uh, like I said, I hope you get to feeling better. And like I said, this takes time to heal and just be patient.